But that was one of my camps. I told people to watch Newsmax. We love it, sir. We love it, uh, Mr. People to watch Newsmax. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, so it's, uh, I, I hope you. I hope you don't get charged. You'll probably get charged because I mentioned your name. So, uh, but I think you'll be okay. Uh, I think it's a badge of honor, quite frankly. And of course, Fox News Channel owned by foreigners, and they really don't care about America, uh, unlike Newsmax, which does an American-owned company. So I woke up to Fox News and go to bed with Fox News. Now I'm waking up to Newsmax and going to bed with Newsmax. I'm sick of it. Last I checked with Newsmax, they were trying to capitalize on the anti-Fox News sentiment that was coming out of MAGA world, and they did for a bit. But now it looks like they're done riding that high. After Trump denounced Fox News for rightly calling Arizona for Joe Biden during the 2020 presidential election, Newsmax saw a bump in viewership. Then when Tucker Carlson got fired from Fox News, Newsmax saw another bump. Naturally, the network sought to take advantage of the opportunity that had been gifted to them, so they were all in trying to court and keep the conservative news audience. But courting is one thing. Keeping is another thing entirely. When Trump told all of his supporters to watch Newsmax instead of Fox News, they listened to him. But I think what's important here is that it wasn't an organic shift in viewership. It was an outrage response, and we all know that those types of movements or boycotts typically don't last very long. People make a stand for a bit, and then they settle back into their old ways. Those boycotts are hard to sustain over the long term. Those new viewers weren't watching Newsmax because they loved Newsmax. They did it because they were mad at Fox News. Newsmax was always just the mistress. And like a good mistress, Newsmax thought for a moment that their new MAGA viewership would actually leave Fox News for them for good. And they tried really hard to keep them. They did their best to emulate Fox News, going so far as to hire on disgraced former Fox News hosts. They even teased the possibility that Tucker Carlson would join their network, which of course he didn't. They gave Rudy Giuliani his own on-air podcast for some reason, and they upped the ante regarding the alleged voter fraud and the alleged rigged voting machines from the 2020 election cycle. Alas, none of it was enough, and now Newsmax is bleeding viewers, especially the younger viewers it gained during its brief ascension. Now, it seems as though the network's desperation to retain viewership is exactly what will do it in. Regarding those allegations that landed Fox News in serious legal hot water, Newsmax will soon have to face its own reckoning pertaining to the falsehoods its hosts unremittingly repeated on the network. Later this year, Newsmax will have to go to trial against Dominion Voting Systems, which has brought a $1.6 billion defamation suit against the network for falsehoods spread about the company and its voting systems during the 2020 election. And just a quick recap. In April of 2021, the Dominion security director filed a Colorado defamation suit against Newsmax in which he accused the network of wrongfully linking him to an alleged plot to rig the 2020 election. Newsmax settled that case, admitting that there was no evidence to support the network's repeated claims regarding election rigging and the director's alleged role in it. Newsmax was subsequently dropped from the suit. But then, just a few months later, Dominion, the company, not just the security director, hit Newsmax with a $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit for spreading misinformation regarding the 2020 election. Dominion says that Newsmax reported that Dominion voting systems were switching votes from Trump to Biden, despite the absence of evidence supporting those claims. This time, Newsmax defended its reporting, claiming that it was simply reporting on what others were saying. For months, Newsmax tried to get the case dismissed, but in June of 2022, a judge ruled that the case against Newsmax would proceed. Then in 2023, Newsmax tried to have a similar lawsuit from Smartmatic narrowed in scope, and a judge also rejected that one. The Dominion trial is now set for September of this year, and as of last month, Dominion won access to text messages exchanged between Newsmax hosts. If you'll recall the Dominion trial against Fox News, this same move did not end well for Fox. In the case against Fox News, the text messages proved that the hosts and producers knew that they were spreading false information at the time they were spreading it, which proved intent to defame. Fox News lost three quarters of a billion dollars in their Dominion settlement, and they're expected to pay even more gravely in their Smartmatic suit. The thing is, Newsmax can't afford to lose that kind of money and continue operating. 
All right, that's it for me. If you got anything out of this, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and check out my podcast, Modern Context. Thanks.